demonstration of failover in a rack cluster I have two nodes this is node 1 so these are the alert log messages on node 1 after the database on node 2 was turned up so you can see here when I set up database no, on node 2 it recognized the second instance and attached it to the domain right so and this is node 2 where the database is up I have two connections HR on one scan IP and HR on the other scan IP so if I query from node 1 okay, I am explicitly connected to node 1 not by the scan IP I can see there is a HR on node 1 and there is another HR user on node 2 okay, so what I am going to do now is I am going to simulate failure of node 2 So this will just kill everything on node 2 without doing a graceful shutdown. I am not doing a shutdown instance, I am just doing a non-graceful failure of the node. Remember I have two connections, HR on rack scan one IP address, I can just run a query if you want. And on rack scan two IP address. I verify that one user is on node 1, the other user on node 2. Okay. So you can see the first user at, at 1659.48 and the other user connected 6 seconds later. Now I am going to simulate shutdown of normal of node 2. So node 2 is going down. What I can see here on node 1 is it is going to detect the failure and will uh, result in uh, only node 1 me available in the meantime let's see if this this session is able to query okay so it's got disconnected the session is still is still able to query and i can see here you can see the messages it has detected node 2 has gone down it's doing a reuse scan that is basically recovering any transactions that were running on node 2 okay. so it's recovering thread 2 that is the redo log group of node 2 okay. so, uh, so now the only available instance is node 1 okay, query from here so the connection node 1 is still active and of course node 2 I got disconnected here got disconnected on node 2. My explicit connection on node 2 has gone down. My user on HR user via the rack scan is up and this user if he tries to uh, if he tries to run a query again now he goes through because his session did a failover. So if I am going to query I am going to query on node 1. Remember this is not a rack scan connection. It is an explicit connection on node 1. I now see both users have connected node 1. 1659 you remember is the older one and 170645 is the new one. This user did not explicitly disconnect and reconnect by himself. SQL developer session did or got disconnected but since it was connecting to a rack scan address the next time I ran uh, the query it got reconnected to the rack scan address which is now running on node 2. Remember the address specified is different. If I show you here, this address is one one six. I can show you the properties. One one six rack scan two and rack scan one is one one five. Two different IP addresses, but and now both the scan IP addresses are running on node one. So both the sessions are running on node one only. This session will not will not reconnect because I had explicitly tried to connect to the actual IP address, not the scan IP addresses. The actual host IP address which will not fail over, but the scan IP address, the scan two did a failover from node two to node one. So the next time the user runs a query, so you remember queries when you run a query again after the failover the query will succeed but if you had any transaction running during the failover when the instance were down of course transactions do not failover automatically that is not the default behavior if you want you can 
you can then implement it in 19c with more advanced options for application continuity you have to build in support for application continuity but the query field over will happen automatically and the next transaction will execute so if you remember when I ran this query immediately after node 2 went down I got a, I got a disconnected from socket error right so if you had a transaction running then your your client would have detected the transaction has failed and the client is supposed to retry it would have received an error message and the client should retry the transaction but if you have a query then the query can just be retried by itself so this is a quick demo like I showed you the IP addresses are different in uh, rack there are three different IP addresses that are configured so I'm using two of those three 116 here sorry and 115 for xcan1 this is a quick demo I hope it is useful